Welcome to my channel, everybody. And if you are new to my channel, a special welcome to you. I have had a lot of requests lately for more cleaning videos. And I think it's because it's the beginning of a new year and people just want to have a fresh start. They want to get a handle on their cleaning. And I decided that one of the areas in almost all of our lives that can overtake us is the laundry. And so hopefully today you can take away a few tips and on how I manage laundry and, and maybe work it into your routine. We all have to develop our own routine, but what has helped me over the years is having only one laundry basket. And this has been my laundry basket for almost since we first got married. I'll tell you about it in a minute. But anyway, I just have always liked the kids bringing their laundry to the laundry room and putting it all in this basket and yes sometimes this basket was overflowing i want to show i want to show you this hamper when i first got married my mom had a hamper made and i just loved her hamper and so i had the same guy that made her hamper make me one and he put you know it's got these little air holes back here I've been really careful with it over the years. We never put anything wet inside of it. The way I have been able to get away with having one hamper and five kids is not everything goes in the hamper. For instance, we don't wash towels every day. And so when we do wash towels, we just gather them from the towel rack and bring them in and wash them immediately, run them through the washer dryer, but hang them back up so I don't have to fold the towels and we don't have to have more hampers in the house and it just works out really well for us now yeah sometimes the kids need to bring a towel up because it gets soiled and great put it on top of the washing machine and I'll wash it as soon as I can but we just don't put wet towels in the hamper and then we don't have that stinky uh, musty smell in the house we pretty much do the same thing with our bedding. When our bedding needs to be changed and washed, we will just pull it right off of the bed, put it straight into the washer, and when it's dry, we put it right back on the bed. And so that eliminates having to fold sheets. Everybody likes folding fitted sheets, right? No, said no one. So we don't have to do that very often. We just put it right on the bed. I do keep an extra set of sheets in the linen closet and when the ones on my bed are wore out, then I'll start using the new set of sheets. But I don't rotate my bedding every week with a different set of sheets. I just wash and put it back on the bed. I don't know how often you change your sheets, but in my house, it's pretty much every two weeks. Some people like to change them more often. I think two weeks is fine, but every once in a while I'll take the pillowcases off and, and wash the pillowcases separately from the others. It's a good thing to take your clothes out of the dryer and fold them or put them on the bed right away. Then you don't have as many wrinkles. You can take care of a lot of wrinkles just by folding them nice and tight. You can avoid using the iron at all costs. Avoid using the iron and then the ironing board. And get That's your. That's the worst part of putting <laughs> silly pillowcases on. The oh. worst part of what? The worst part of making the bed. Oh, it's getting the pillowcases on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my word. He was over here just struggling like putting a pig in a blanket. Oh, well, I have no description for it, but yeah, pig in a blanket, yeah, that's it. I mean, there's nothing to these, just... <sighs> now I'm tired, I have to go to bed. Now, I did say I had one laundry basket, but maybe I lied because I keep this little basket right here on top of my dryer. And when I have 
uh, wet washcloths from the kitchen, my dish towels from the kitchen, I put them in this basket. And when I get a little basket full, I will go ahead and wash them. This avoids the stinky, mildewy washcloths. So we just, if they're wet, we'll just hang them over the side of here and they dry. And it, it really works out nice for us. And if Chad has something super dirty, he will just drop it in the sink for me to wash later. So now I don't have to sort through towels. I don't have to sort the sheets. I don't have to sort the um, dirty kitchen towels or the heavy, dirty towels that Chad uses outside. So I really only have left Levi's and our white underwear and maybe a load of light tops, uh, t-shirts and such. That just about does my laundry. And so I don't have a lot that I have to sort through in my hamper. You might not agree with me on this, but just because you wear an item one day does not mean you cannot hang it up and wear it on another day. It doesn't need to be washed every time you wear it, at least in my opinion. Underwear, yeah, yeah of course, but, but you know, your tops and things, Levi's, I don't think they need to be washed every day. I have a story to tell you. When I was a teenager, I was cleaning my room and you know how teenagers are. Their stuff gets piled up on a chair and they don't fold things. And I was a typical teenager. My room was a mess. So I was cleaning my bedroom and I gathered up all my clothes off the floor and off the dresser and off the chair. And I took them in the laundry room and I put them in the hamper. Well, I go back to cleaning my bedroom vacuuming whatever I was doing and I could hear my mom in the laundry room and she I, I mean she was not happy pretty soon very loud she called my name out Jennifer get in here so I went into the laundry room to find my mom on the floor in the middle of all my laundry throwing things this way and that way and into this pile and she was so mad and she said these are not dirty. You have just gathered up everything in your room and you have dumped it all in the hamper so I can wash and dry and fold and put away. You take these back to your bedroom and you fold them and you put them away and you hang them up. She was so mad. And I will never forget my mom in her laundry room throwing my clothes around just madder than a hornet. I've never had a set day to do laundry. I've just always kept up with it. I'll do a load of towels or a, some bedding or whatever, and I will spread it out throughout the week. So I never have one full day of doing laundry. That has worked for me. Maybe that isn't the way it'll work for you. And definitely, if you don't have a washer and dryer and you have to take it to a laundromat, your routine is going to be totally different. But hopefully you'll still be able to take away a few tips that I've given you today. I want to give a shout out to my trusty Maytags here. I have had these Maytags for 25 years. And before that, I had a set of Maytags. I've only owned two sets of washing machines and they have both been Maytags. However, I don't think they make Maytags like they used to. I know they don't. I have heard that Speed Queen still makes a really good top load washing machine. And I prefer the top load. I know the big thing, the new thing is to have the front load washing machines, but I just really like the top load washing machine because I've had such good luck with it. And it doesn't take me very long to do a load. And some of those great big machines that are brand new, takes them forever to do a load so I and I like being able to just lift up my lid anytime I want to when the water's going in it or whatever I've just loved this set of machines and I will pay a fortune if I have to to have them fixed and to keep them because I have loved them so much and since we're talking laundry rooms I thought maybe you would like to see how I have organized my laundry room to start with, I've always kept my ironing board behind my door and I know I could hang it up, but I haven't. Keep my laundry hamper here. In our laundry room, we have a half bath built into it. 
I love having a sink in my laundry room. It's very handy. This is where we keep our dirty towels, not our dirty towels, but our cl cleaning towels. And what I'll do in the kitchen is every time I get a new set of kitchen washcloths, I'll put the old set in here and keep them separate. Julie, our daughter, gave us these Norwich, Norwich towels, and I love those. And I will keep extra bath towels and beach towels. These are those blankets that you get in Mexico. I just love those to throw out on the grass or whatever. And that's that. Everything I clean with is under this sink. And it doesn't matter if it's for silver or leather or whatever, I keep it underneath the sink. And I keep a little cleaning caddy that I'll take around with me from bathroom to bathroom. Up above my washing machine, is where I keep extra cleaning supplies right up there and I like to buy this liquid and I just pull it out here let's see I keep this one there and I'll, I don't use a lot of detergent I use at least half what it tells me to and this cupboard over here again I've got some extra detergents and cleaning products. This is where we keep extra batteries, a few extra dish towels, our, all of our tape and just things that we don't want out in the garage because it gets too hot and too cold. We'll put it in here. It probably would have been nice over the years to have a hanging bar but we have used the shower curtain rod in our bathrooms to hang clothes that we didn't want going in the dryer or I will put and lay a top out on top of my washer or my dryer or I'll put them outside on the chairs on the patio. Uh, that's the other thing that would be nice to have is a line to hang your clothes on. I don't know why we haven't done that over the years. I've always wanted one and my mom had one, my grandma had one. That would be cool. Do you remember the ringer washing machines? My mom never used a ringer washing machine, but my sister did. When my sister first got married, somebody gave her an old ringer washing machine and she was always scared that I would put my hand in it and I remember my grandma always had a ringer washing machine and the same thing she was um, really protective of her little grandkids and she didn't want anybody to get their hands caught in that ringer washing machine you know when you put the clothes through and it anyway if, if, you, if you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about if you don't it's okay I hope I've been able to help you in some small way. None of this is original to me. Everything I do, everything I've learned, I learned from my mother. I miss her so bad. I want to tell you a really quick story about her. Just before she died, maybe three or four years before she died, she called me and she said, Jennifer, I want to tell you something. What? I've decided I'm going to quit swearing. That's awesome, Mom. She just wanted to improve her life every day of her life and it's not like she was a, a, a sailor or a lumberjack or anything like that but she just found she just knew there was something in her life she didn't like and she wanted to make a change in it and I just think she is an absolute angel and she has really motivated me and as I get closer to the age that she was when she told me that I thought yeah every year we can make some little changes in our life even if it's just a small one that we're not going to say a naughty word anymore and I just anyway I want to leave you with that and I hope that you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of them hit the subscribe button thanks again for watching bye bye